All right, so Bitcoin has just put out a daily engulfing candle, which uh, is a fairly bullish sign here, guys. Uh, what I will say is today is going to be super important if we do get a pump towards the later hours of the day. Obviously, we've got 10 hours left here, so uh, a long time to be waiting for this. But if we do close that daily pretty much green at all, it's super, super bullish. If we get above uh, essentially 69K, also pretty bullish, basically getting us back above this resistance line on our previous high okay uh, and then the other side is obviously if we can get above 73k then we're back on okay this would just go down as a pullback and we continue going up uh, and as i said in the last video yesterday uh, 80k is roughly where i'm looking at right now we do also have a measure move up to 90 but uh yeah i mean we could get up there. I don't want to be too hasty on saying that we don't get up there but what i will say is uh this pullback is is a sign that potentially as we said yesterday uh that we do go into more of a sideways consolidational period uh, and a period in which we should be looking for other strategies rather than trending strategies right so the strategies we're using right now are more trending strategies except for the cme strategy which is obviously on the weekend where we trade the range okay but uh, as of right now what we're looking at is bitcoin uh, potentially moving into this sideways period for the next month or so right so we got till basically the 20th of april here guys uh, another month before the halvening and i do expect a pretty major pullback before uh, that halvening or around that halvening period where the miners just sell off their bitcoin uh, and then they continue mining after that right we also have a situation where uh, I imagine the mining difficulty is really, really like hard right now uh, with everyone just squeezing out as many Bitcoin as they can uh, with this coming through. And you can see this being shown by the hash ribbons indicator, uh, which has just been on a steady slope upwards uh, for, <laughs> I mean, like a year, right? Crazy stuff here coming through. Uh, so yes, uh, with this thing being directly correlated with Bitcoin's price, the fact that this has just exploded towards the upside, the power going into mining mining Bitcoin, right? Uh, basically the miners, how much they're putting into this. Uh, yeah, this has been exploding parabolically. So uh, what we will say with this is, yeah, I mean, the, the mining difficulty is probably quite hard right now. Uh, and what that means is when that block reward is cut in half, right, uh, in April, so around this time period, uh, then I imagine the miners will push back their operations a little bit uh, and then allow that difficulty to go down, right? So if there's more people mining Bitcoin, more bigger, powerful uh, operations going into mining Bitcoin, then the difficulty will be higher, okay? Uh, that's just the way Bitcoin's coded. And then if there's less people mining Bitcoin and less power going to mining Bitcoin, then uh, the difficulty will lower, right? So it will require less power to figure out uh, the blocks uh, in, in terms of the calculations for the blocks so the Bitcoins get released, okay? So uh, if you didn't know that about Bitcoin, that's that's pretty much how it works. Uh, and what we can say with this is, yeah, it has been going up for a while. Makes sense uh, if we are looking at the miners for them to essentially try and manually push that uh, down, whether they do or, or whether, say, BlackRock pick it up instead and they're just waiting to turn those machines on, then, uh, yeah, it's a different story, okay? But uh, what we will say with this is I think it's quite likely that we do get this pullback and that is why. Uh, and this could go as low as... Sorry, I can just see a... Is that a jumping spider? Oh, boy. That looks nasty. That looks nasty, dude. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, <laughs> the things are living in Thailand, right? Uh, but, yeah, we, we, we're looking at around 50K, roughly. Uh, we could go as low as 38K, 40K, that kind of zone. Uh, and we would still actually make a higher low, but we would break our parabolic trend coming through on the long term as well right so with bitcoin right now for the long term update i will say yes super bullish for 2024 massive massive bull run expected obviously we're at 67k pretty much at all time highs <laughs> okay uh, so what we will say with this is uh yeah i am expecting pullback but sideways makes sense okay uh, and thank you for liking the video as well guys helps me out a lot uh, we did also break this on the one hour uh, let's just see if this is congruent on the four hours well yes okay so we did break this on the four hour Hour. we are now back above that we are just testing this four hour seven sma so potentially we do get another wave up here i do think even if we if we make a lower high uh, we could come as high as pretty we could come as high as like 71k and still make a lower high here right uh, i'm not super 
uh, confident that this is the low. I do think there's a chance that we come lower here uh, and we do have kind of, uh, we, we do have trend lines to support that as well, right? So we've got this low here, we've got this low here, and then this trend line extends all the way to about 58K. So potentially around this area, uh, if we do get a dump anyway, another dump, then uh, this would be a key area for potentially eyeing up that next range. Uh, and then besides that, yeah, once that range is made, or if we do essentially just get back down into the 60s areas, we're going to be looking to find a long, okay? And then we're going to be trading whatever range forms here, okay? If we do head higher than this high, all right, then what we're going to be doing is very, very easy. We're going to be finding a long here at 74,000. Uh, we're going to be looking at this trend line here, and we're going to be looking to essentially tap that trend line uh, for a trade, right? So long, tap the trend line wherever it is okay whatever it's we won't be back in time but you, you get my point here wherever it is that this hits uh, it does make sense for us to have a, a pretty big take profit here considering how parabolic we've been for the past um <laughs> like a year now right so uh, pretty crazy pretty crazy stuff uh, and yeah that's pretty much all i've got here for the update here today okay nothing really has changed we've had a bit of a pump up i don't want to bore you guys don't want to waste your time so if you found this helpful feel free, subscribe to it, like it, leave me a comment. Uh, and besides that, I'll be updating you guys pretty much every day here uh, as time progresses throughout this bull market. As you guys know, I've been in the market seven, eight years now, or, or seven years in, in crypto, eight years uh, in trading. And what we can say is this is extremely profitable. The market is in absolute easy mode. If you are not making money in this market, then you're definitely doing something wrong. And if you are, uh, if, if you are struggling, then feel free to copy my trades in the description in Fairdesk or on BingX. Uh, I'm trading on Fair, Fairdesk at the moment if you are interested, but uh, BingX will be coming soon. All right. And then besides that, there's, if you want to learn all the strategies or, or three really, really good strategies, feel free to sign up for the webinar in the description as well. Okay. That's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. And goodbye. Rummy. How about it?